Special thanks to our sponsors for sending us to Computex 2019. What's going on everyone here at the team group booth? I'm very nervous because she's taking a picture while I'm filming. Wow, the video camera is not making me nervous. It's the phone camera. This is awkward. Anyway, uh, they have something really nice. They're actually plenty of stuff to show off here. Uh, but the thing that caught my eye is the thing I expect will catch your eye too. And that is the Delta Max RGB SSD. Check this thing out. Uh, it, like the whole SSD for the most part. I think it's like 80% 80, 80 or so uh, screen coverage. But uh, this is beautiful. And uh, they use LEDs on the perimeter to light up this entire panel for the most part. And then the, the center has the T-Force logo. And uh, that's uh, less, I guess, glossed over, so it looks brighter. You see Delta Max logo there on the bottom right. Looking really good. Two ways to connect this to your system. You can do it by either via USB 2, uh, or you can do it via 5-volt addressable RGB. If you do it USB 2, it's only got one effect. It's just to power it. Uh, sorry, not to power it, just to uh, get the LEDs in action. And then uh, if you do it via 5-volt, then uh, you can control individual LEDs. I probably just broke that doing this. Uh, and the, the, another cool thing about this one is that if you have it off, like let's say your system's off or you don't even plug it in, then it looks like this right here. It just looks like uh, just a regular black gloss SSD with the T-Force logo, and you can't even tell that there's a film or a screen behind it. So really nice when it's off, you can't tell, and when it's on, it's blingy AF. This is like the most clickbait SSD I've ever seen, but it's super cool. And if you guys are looking for an extreme kit of RGB memory, look no further than, uh, yeah, it's it's actually called the Extreme ARGB Memory Kit. T-Force Extreme ARGB. This is actually supposedly the world's first ARGB DIMM. And you can see right here, uh, the LEDs, fairly well diffused. You can kind of see individual LED uh, lighting here on the side, but from the top, which is what you'll mainly see, uh, it's very well diffused and you can control, again, because it's ARGB, individual LEDs. Uh, and you can do that via software they'll have coming out with the kit or you can do it via uh, motherboard software, whether it be like MSI, Gigabyte, I think ASUS also works. Uh, so I'll be talking with them about that. Check the video description for more compatibility. Uh, but for now, I know for certain that they're coming out with their own software as well to control individual LEDs in their memory kit. Now, an interesting note about M.2s uh, when it relates to Gen 4 uh, PCI Express. This is a, a, a PCI Gen 4 M.2 here and supposedly when these things run really fast like around let's say 5,000 megabytes per second they get very hot and uh, so that's one of the reasons why you see the speeds here on this one are 3,800 megabytes per second reads, 3,200 for writes respectively and uh, the drive doesn't have a very beefy heatsink on it. A lot of the drives that run it 5,000 megabytes per second reads will have very thick heat sinks. The one from Gigabyte that we saw earlier had a really large copper slug on top of it uh, and then also copper underneath it. And uh, they have to keep it cool. I mean, when it's running that fast, it gets very hot. Uh, in this case, we have just a graphene slab that's supposedly really good for heat dissipation, uh, but it's just one a uh, little slab of that on top of the PCB. Now these are the T-Force Cardia Liquid M.2 PCI SSDs and these look first off super colorful, another attractive piece here at the Team Group booth. Uh, but also there's some practicality here. Uh, you can fill this up with pretty much any fluid you want. There's these small valves you can see on the ends here that you can unscrew, add the fluid. Supposedly this fluid like evaporates into thin air. That's what they're telling me. If it does, you can always fill it back up. Not sure about the applications, but they do look mighty pretty. Another thing to note, if this is water-based, water has a very high heat capacity. So under those quick sprints where your M.2 SSD gets fairly hot, this water can absorb a lot of that heat and prevent your M.2 from thermal throttling uh, very quick. I should actually state there are different M.2 drives, NVMe or um, uh, SATA M.2s would work in this case. You can see these are pretty much all SATA M.2s. They have two keys. Uh, but anyway, looking really colorful. And uh, yeah, we'll be sure to test the practicality of these in a dedicated video on the channel soon. And we've got the T4 Spark RGB UFD and the Treasure External RGB SSD. So that's the one you're seeing on top of the PS4 Pro there. And then the thumb drive down below has an RGB indicator as well that can sync up and tell you how full your drive is. So let's say you're approaching 80, 90% storage, that light will actually start to turn closer to a red color, indicating that you've almost used up all of your space. So kind of a convenient, you know, uh, industrial use 
of RGBs and uh, something that, again, you'll either love or hate. And then we have T-Force Vulcan Z, T-Force Dark Z. We got nice modules here. These don't have any RGB on them, so if you're not into that bling game, this is your this is your cup of tea right here. You even got bare PCB RAM over there. You see that T-Force T1 DDR4, just 26, 66 megahertz. Good for Intel platforms for sure. And you get that red printed uh, on top of uh, the, uh, the DIMM. So looking good in this case. Now we're gonna swing over Kyle's gonna try to walk with a camera. It's gonna be interesting here. Yeah, just uh, just keep going. There we go. We just keep on going. These are all the awards, the products that have won awards from Team Group. You see, we got the Excalibur DDR4. You guys saw this at CES 2019 in Vegas. And then to the left of that, we've got the T Force Nighthawk RGB modules. Those are the black modules, looking really good. We've used those in many builds in the past. Further down the line, I believe that is the Extreme modules there. Yep, those are the Extreme DDR4 modules. You see 4,800 megahertz, blazing fast. Good, especially for Ryzen kits, if you can manage to get your kit to that uh, speed. And then uh, also the Delta RGB SSD. This is uh, one of the flashier RGB SSDs on the market. One thing I didn't mention that I want you guys to remember, there was a video, I'm not sure who it was from, uh, where they discovered that the SSD was throttling itself because of the built-in RGB LEDs. When you look at this from Team Group, or the, the one we showed you in the beginning of the video, these RGB LEDs are not integrated into the PCB. Whereas in the case of that, I don't know if it was a HyperX drive or whatever, that was throttling because it got too hot because of the RGB LEDs built into the PCB. This is an extra, think of this like an external case, and the, and the PCB is underneath that, right? So the RGBs are built into the case, not into the PCB, uh, and that's why it doesn't get very hot. Uh, so while the RGB, I mean, this isn't even hot here. I'm not sure what was going on with that kit and that video, but uh, these are very cool. You can't feel heat really emanating from this at all. And the same goes for that first SSD we showed you where that screen pretty much took up the entire case of that uh, SSD. Wasn't hot. So if that's a concern of yours, don't worry about that. Team Group's got it under control. Again, it's not, it, it doesn't involve LEDs built into the PCB. And that's the concern that a lot of you will probably have after watching that video. I think it was from Jay. I'm not sure who did it. Uh, but I, if you saw the video, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So that is it for our Team Group coverage. They've got a lot of stuff. We try to show you as much of it as we could. It's a huge booth cup. You want to show, um, you know, kind of a pan of uh, what they've got going on here. It's a huge space. There's like some kind of weird intercom thing going on here. But uh, two stories up there is where they do a lot of the marketing deals and stuff. Uh, but they've done a really nice job here. They used to be in a suite and they've pretty much thrown their budget into uh, a show floor piece like this. And I, I really like what they've done. The publicity is nice. You can see how busy it is here. People like what they've got to offer. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more coverage here at Computex 2019. This is Science Studio. Thanks for watching again and thanks for learning with us.